just one comment that came out of the comments, which which I thought was really an interesting one coming from one of our friends here that uh, that I've talked to, and she said one of the one of the issues or problems is that we don't understand how someone could potentially re- uh, identify as both Jewish and an Israelite. And I don't know if anyone on the stage wants to talk about that. I can actually speak on that. I mean, just from a, just from a DNA, just from a heritage standpoint, Abraham. Abraham was considered a Hebrew, um, and then Yaakov name was changed to Israel. So, 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 his, so Israel became, or, ja- or Yaakov became, uh, he was a Hebrew Israelite. And a lot of the children of, a lot of the children of Israel were Israelites, and they all were also Jews because when the kingdom split into two kingdoms, the northern kingdom became Judea, and the southern kingdom became Israel. Um, so, the, so the name Hebrew Israelite established in the Torah. But I understand the difference now in the connotation of the name because now it seems to be two separate deals and it's very confusing to associate with both. But from a historical standpoint, there was a time where you could be both and now that time has somewhat changed.